Hey everybody, uh, welcome into Symbol Gaming. Uh, you join us here on Fish and Symbol actually, uh, and we're in France at uh, the Gigantica Lake. Um, we're just going to do a spot of fishing for carp. So it's been such a long time since I've been on Fish and Symbol, and uh, I thought it'd be good fun to get on to uh, Gigantica again and uh, yeah, just get the uh, carp rods out. See how we get on. Right, here we go. So let's just go through a little bit of my inventory. Hope everybody's doing well. Right, here we go. So we've got the Sonic Vader X 13 foot uh, rod. Um, we've got the Sonic Turnus uh, reel. Crikey, I forgot what we had here. Um, we've got uh, 80 pound uh, braid, corda, size 10 uh, rig. Might change that actually. We've got CR1 pop up 14 mil on one and sweet corn on two and three. So let's just click into this now and we'll have a little sneaky look at what we've got because it's been such a long time since I've been on here. I've got a crank rig. Crank rig utilizes camel coated hook link material for double figure cap. I think we should go for that one. Tempted. I'm gonna go for the crank rig. I'm gonna put that on the mall. Smallest one that I can find. That's a size four. One or two. Let's just see if we can get that on the third one. Crank rig, yeah, let's do it. I think we're good to go. Right, let's get this first rod out. Oh god, it's been such a long time since I've been on here. Been on here. It's now reminding me of how to cast. Let's get this first rod out. Oh, I think that was quite a big cast. 121 yards out. 21 foot of water. Okay. Pick up double sweet corn. Let's just cast that one straight out. Perfect. Okay, and the third one, which is double sweet corn again. I think I'm going to cast this one over towards that tree actually. Decent rod, decent reel. Look at that big cast that's right out in the middle of the lake. So let's see how we get on. God, that was proper out in the middle of the lake. Let's try the spod. See if we can get that spod out as far. Just chuck it out about 63%. Yeah. Okay, I'll go with that. Let's pick it up again, actually. Let's just chuck it out. Sixty three percent again. God, that's proper out. That is proper out there, isn't it? Yeah, okay. And then we'll try it one a little bit further out, just slightly further out. Big cast. Yeah, that'll do. Roughly. Let's just see if we get anything at all. God, it's been so long since I've been on the uh, fishing symbol. I remember I had some good kit on here, so the Sonic Sonic roads are really good. 
just see if we get any movement on these roads at all. They are quite far out actually. I couldn't even tell you the last time that I actually fished, fished on the Gigantica. Yeah, we've definitely got some decent kit here. 80 pound line too, gosh. If we get into some decent sized fish, that that, that would uh, certainly do the trick. Let's see, here we go. Yeah, the game's looking pretty good on the PC here. Yeah, playing this on the PC, not the PS5. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit of movement. Step back a little bit from the rods. He needs a seat. It's a pity he couldn't sit on that uh, step there. That'd be pretty cool. Sit back and wait and see if we get any takers. So yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Back on with the uh, fishing again on the channel. Definitely more uh, sim fishing to come. Uh, so I've been using the uh, playing using the catch capping course quite a bit. So you might have seen that in some of the other videos. Uh, Fisher Online is another uh, fishing sim which is really good. Been getting into that, and of course, fishing sim mold. Bassmaster, I've only sort of touched upon a little bit, but uh, obviously, cat fishing favours uh, sim mold gaming channel, so uh, that's what we that's what we record and upload. Quiet at the minute. It might be that we'll have to shake up the baits a little bit. It's a bit of a waiting game. So we've got that 14 mil CR1 pop up on one. We've got sweet corn. Tempted to change rod three over to a different bait. Tuna match boilies. Tiger knot's always good. Yeah, let's 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 pick up three and we'll maybe bring this one in a little bit closer. What do you think? Forty percent. Yeah, forty percent. That's good. Just opposite that tree. The old spod out. Light touch, 25%. Hmm, not far enough. Let's bring it in again. Let's check it out again. 42%. to bring rod one in slightly, just bring it in a little bit closer. It's got the uh, pop-up. 
just bring that in a little bit. Keep row two as a distance. Let's just nudge that out thirty five percent, not that far. Yep. That'll do. A little bit of movement there. Okay, don't know what that was. I don't know if it was the window or not. Just try and nudge that around a little bit. Just try to feed this swim up. Yeah, not too bad. Let's pull it forward a little bit. That's pretty good, I think. Okay, let's leave it there. Step back a little bit from the roads. Yeah, decent reels on these roads. Not caught a boss fish for a while, so be good to get into a decent sized carp. So we are fishing a morning session. We've got dynamic weather on. A bit of light cloud. Rod's very quiet. So we are running this game on uh, ultra settings, just in case you're uh, wondering. Oh, here we go, a bit of movement. Board one, okay. Okay, we're in. This is good. Do you love this road. I quite like the controls in this game, it's a little bit more simplified than the catch uh, capping course, so yeah, I quite I favour it, it's good. This Vader X rod is such a good rod, isn't it? It's got good action, look at that bend in there. So we've got 80 pound line on here, so we can afford to uh, put a bit of strain on. Let's try and bring this fish in. 37 yards out, 38, still taking line. I think we've got a decent fish here, folks. 41, 42, still taking line. Put a fair bit of pressure on. It's coming in now, 23 yards out, here we go. Bit of a torpedo, good sized fish, look at this, good carp. Gigantica always produces, doesn't it? Uh, it's a good common. I've got a little bit of comfort in this 80 pound line. Whoa, let's keep it out of the uh, reeds. I've got another order. Yeah, it's a good sized cart, this. Bit of pressure. Keep the rod up. Splashing around. And she comes. Come on. She's in. Nice common. Look at that. Thirty-six pound. Decent fish. Decent fish. There you go. Thirty-six pound, folks. Okay. Let's get this back out again. So that, that wasn't... 
at forty percent. Wasn't too far out, was it? Let's bring that forward a bit. Try and keep it about the sort of fifty. Yeah, fifty-seven mark. That's okay. Okay. Cool. Tempted to bring double sweet corn. Let's just wind this in. Just won't push this one out quite so far. Forty percent again. There you go, fifty yards. I'll do it. Twenty-two. Done. Get spot out. Just keep feeding the uh, the swim. That might be a bit too far. No, I think that's all right. Yeah, that's okay. So CR1 pop up seems to be the favourite bait currently. So we'll just see if we get another take on it. We might end up changing the bait on the other rods. We'll see how we go. Not a bad start though. Not a bad start. Thirty plus cap, it's gotta be good, isn't it? Yeah, Tiger Nuts is normally pretty reliable. Let's see if we get any more takers. I keep feeding that swim. Let's see if we can attract some decent sized carp in. I have always found this quite a difficult lake to be honest, but um I thought it'd be worth reinstalling fishing symbols on my uh, PC. Um especially with having the uh, the PC upgraded and stuff with the uh, RTX. It's got forty ninety in it, so uh game seems to be running right super smooth. Which is really good. Pretty quiet again. So, yeah, this is my, what I call my big leak setup. Tempted to change that over. CR1 fluoros. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's just throw that one out. Not far, thirty seven per cent. Yeah, that's a good position. Happy with that. Just keep changing the bait up. There's a little bit of mist on the lake, you can see. Bit of cloud cover coming now. You can see how often I'm actually feeding the swim. So yeah, just trying to attract these fish onto the baits. It's 
Let's get that cloud on the surface. There you go. Step back a little bit. I don't always like being on top of the rods, to be fair. You've got to be close enough that you can grab them, though. Like that. That's one again. I've got two rods. Have we got two rods on the go? Yeah. Two rods at the same time. Let's get a bit of pressure on. It's rod three. Feels a good fish. Fifty six yards out, still taking line. Just love this uh, Sonic Vader X rod. It's my favourite in the whole uh, game. This. There you go. She's coming in. Decent sized cap again. Here she comes. Is that a common? Common. Let's keep the rod up. She's trying to ignore rod three at the minute. And get this in. Come on. Both rods went off at the same time. Come on. Rod up, rod up, rod up. Oh, come on. Try and get a bit of pressure on. There you go. She's in. 27 pounder. Let's try and pick up rod three. Ooh, 70 yards out. See if this fish is bigger than 27 pound. Don't think it's too heavy. Good little session so far. Is that another common? Nice carp. Uh, yeah, it's a common. out there. Just put a little bit more pressure on. Here she comes. Nice one. Good fish. Thirty-four pounds. Let's get a toggle view. Great. So the bait seem to be uh, holding up. Let's try again. Just opposite that tree. Forty percent. Yeah, perfect position that. Happy with that. Let's just put that rod down. Pick up one. So that was on the tiger nuts. So let's pick up one. And push that out to the left.
Perfect. Oh, got another road away. Three again. Awesome. Tiger not seem to be doing well. Should cut the line actually so that we uh, make sure that when we cast it falls in the same position. Might do that on the next one. Next cast. Quite liking that swim opposite the tree that's uh, sticking out over the lake there. On that point. Put a bit more pressure on. Yeah, I can see the fish from here. Not a huge, huge, I don't think. Oh, what's that? Is that a mirror? Just keep that pressure on. Yeah, nice mirror. I've got another rod away. This rod's two, I think. Come on in, you come. She's in. 18 pounder. Let's see what fish we've got here, because this is on the CR1 fluoros. Bait. So let's see. What, let's see. What. Just gaining on the fish now. I don't think it's a big one. You can normally tell if it's a big fish because it sort of hangs in the water and uh, it obviously takes a yardage. When you put pressure on the reel and line, it takes yardage. So you can see the yardage we're gaining on it here. We've got 32, 34 on the reel. Uh, fish is hanging about in the water, 42 yards out, 41, gaining on it now. Awesome. Yeah, oh, it's a big fat fish. Yeah, looking not too bad. Is that a mirror? Common. Great swim. Nice common. Here she comes, come on. Come on. Got the other rod going now. Let's put a little bit more pressure on. She's in, she's in. Cracking fish. 28 pounds. Right, let's get rod one, which is the CR one and pop up. There we go, straight into it. Bit of tension on the line. Oh, this is a good fish. 67, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3. This is a good fish. I think this is a 30 plus fish. Still taking line. Still taking line. I think we've got a good fish here, folks. 91 yards. 92, 40. Oh, 41 on this wheel. That's it, we're gaining back now. Well, that was a good run. That was a really good run. It's a good sized fish this I think. Yeah I can see the fish from here, it's a good sized fish. Awesome fish, this is the biggest one of the session I think, it's a mirror. It looks to me, yep. 
Got to be the biggest one in the session. Lake Gigantica. That's a huge fish. Let's just play this one. Let's watch that strain. We have got 80 pound line on here. Cracking fish, we've got to land this, folks. Whoa, look at that strain. Tight lines. Oh, it says 40 pounds, you reckon? Brilliant fish. And she comes, oh, not yet. Taking line again. Yes. Oh. <laughs> what have we got? Forty-seven pound trophy catch. That is insane. Species baby Brutus. Trophy catch. Absolutely fantastic. That's got to be a screenshot. Cracking. Awesome. Awesome. Let's just try that again. Loving Gigantica. Great lake. Okay, there we go. So that was a CR1 pop up. Take this one straight out. Thirty-five percent. Should cut the line really. And finally the tiger nuts. Let's push it back out towards that tree. Awesome. Trophy catch, can't believe we got that. That's really good. Let's keep the uh, swim fed. Oh, good cast. So it's good just to have that little bit of variety, I think, with the, uh, the baits and also the position of the rods. So you can see rod one's off to my left. Uh, rod two is probably a little bit more straight out and three is over to the right a little bit. I try not to have the uh, lines crossing and stuff. Just try and keep it neat and tidy. See if we get into any other any other fish. I think baby Brutus will make the uh, cover for this video. Nice trophy catch.
Good job I had the uh, 80 pound line on here. Just got a little bit quiet. Let's just pull back a little bit. I like it so I can just see the uh, bait indicators. So yeah, it's been a great little session this uh, on Gigantica. I uh, got some cracking, cracking carp, common and mirror. And uh, of course we've got uh, Baby Brutus, the uh, the trophy catch uh, of the session, which I believe was caught on the CR1 pop-up, which is quite impressive. How's that cloud cover? Still got a bit of cloud cover. A little bit of mist on the lake. Rods are full and quiet now. Let's just try and get the spot out again. It's always worth just keeping that swim top top. Water looks so cool, doesn't it? So if I have actually got most, if not all, of the DLCs, I think, for... In fact, I think I've got them all for Fishing Symbols, so we're definitely going to be visiting a few places, trying a few different uh, fishing methods. Um, so we'll try some float fishing. We'll get ourselves on the Grand Union and uh, try spinning for pike, which should be uh, pretty cool. And uh, I think we will try a Berg Sea for trout because um, I do recall fishing on there oh, a while back and uh, catching some really decent um, trout uh, on there. So that would be, be a good session. So I definitely, definitely want to get more fishing sessions on the channel. I think it, uh, the channel misses it. I think it's what um, Simul Gaming really sort of established itself. Um, with the fishing uh, game, fishing symboled especially, um, and even though the videos, so a lot of the videos I put up are probably about two or three years old now, still get loads of views, so uh, yeah, pretty cool, so I thought, let's get back to uh, to fishing again, why not indeed, let's get this spot rod out, let's just throw it 30%, We go, We've got a rod gone now. Tiger knots again. Cool. Get a bit of uh, pressure on. See where we're up to. Forty-seven. Don't think it's a big fish. Brilliant session. Definitely be coming back to the Gigantica again. It's good to be reminded of the uh, the kit that I actually bought. So um, I'm so pleased with this uh, fishing rod. Oh, it's taking line now. It's woken up now. We got gaining on it. I know if the real tension is set to 40 and the fish is still taking line out, I know we're onto a good fish then. This looks like a nice common. 
20 something pounds. Yeah, definitely recommend this rod and reel setup. Gives you the ability to have distance casts as well as uh, fairly close to the shore cast. You don't have to go in the middle of the lake to catch big fish, that's for sure. Come on. A little bit more pressure on. Keep the rod high. Let's bring it down. Right, pull it up. Come on. She's in. She's in. There we go, nice common. 32 pound, not bad. 32 pound, 15 ounce. Caught on the tiger nut on Lake Gigantica. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a very quick uh, cap session, topped off by the uh, trophy catch, um, which definitely will make the cover of this video. So uh, if you liked the video, drop me a like. Um, even better, a sub if you want to uh, follow symbol gaming exploits uh, on ps5 xbox and pc catch you guys again shortly <laughs>